All right, guys. Listen, got this video by iNabber. Uh, it's about boy in a band. It's something we talked about a couple months ago. Uh, apparently, there's an update to the allegations, and they've gotten worse. So that's that'll be interesting. Let's see what we got. Because they weren't great, but I remember there was a lot of I don't know. I don't. You can just watch my video on it. You can literally just look it up. It's. Um, You can go look it up. Papa got leftovers. Boy in a band. You know, I I I I read through it. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Some of it seemed disproportionate. So let's yeah, let's see what we got here. To yet again another horrible day on the internet, and as you can imagine, it's only gotten worse. Yes, I need to cast your memories All back right. to a situation from a few months ago. Do you remember this video? Yes, I hope you certainly do, and I hope you. I didn't watch that one because in this video, I watched Jaden's video. Okay. <laughs> we went through a certain amount of allegations and in that video we pretty much went through a lot of things where it was very very down. strange and peculiar and honestly it just in general wasn't a good thing now my friends i'm okay. going to politely ask you to take everything from that situation and remove it from your brains all because... right that, that makes it easy because i didn't even watch it. <laughs> this makes it easy for me my friends the allegations no longer exist oh they've been removed from the internet and they are no longer here. All right. You're probably thinking, Fraser, what are you talking about? Well, my God friends, allow forever. me to introduce you to part two to the Where boy in a band situation, oh. where things have certainly gotten weirder and definitely have gotten worse. Most people seem to now deem boy in a band as somebody who, in his own words, you know, was never necessarily taught the laws of this world. I was never taught what laws there are. And yeah, uh, it's fair to say that... <laughs> The fucking rock farting killed me, sorry. Uh, based on allegations, if they were true, uh, this would be considered quite literal, because most of the things that this man was accused of were pretty much absolutely horrific. Pretty much take every single hot button topic that you could be accused of on the internet as an influencer, and my friends, you have the boy in a band allegations. And as I said, I covered this in a video where we critically- were, were they that horrific? Most of it was like him talking to like grown adults, I think. Um... But okay, I don't remember the specifics, but... Critically analyze the original allegation, not necessarily taking any immediate sides in the situation, but critically analyzing the problems and issues with this original situation. Because naturally, okay. when allegations are made on the internet, you do need to be cautious. As much as I understand sure. you do want to support the victim, sometimes situations victim. on the internet sure. are very, very strange. But the problem I brought up with all of this in my previous video was the fact that this allegation was a little bit different to a typical YouTuber allegation. Now, when somebody comes out and says, this person did something absolutely horrific to me, usually it's in a video, a video of where a face and a name is attached to these allegations. This was different. What we had here was a letter posted onto Reddit by an anonymous Reddit account claiming to represent victims in the double digits. And not only was there not a name attached to this letter, but also they claimed to represent people with no names, with no faces, and we were meant to take this as gospel, as truth, as real 100% authentic information. Mm. Now my problem is basically, well, you should actually get some form of consensual proof that you are representing the people you claim to be representing and actually have their consent to <clears throat> these things. Sure. So the only evidence that we actually really got were some screenshots in group chats that show zero names or zero images. It's just allegedly a group chat of uh, people getting together like the Avengers and saying, uh, yep, okay. that Dave Boyd a band, he's an absolutely horrific bloke. Now, I don't deny that, but my friends, this isn't enough. This was a major, major issue with this situation. I am not asking for camera footage recordings of Dave Boyd a band doing some absolutely heinous crimes. I'm just asking for some names, some faces attacked. Yeah, you gotta put names to faces and then, you know, you have to have some proof for these allegations because these things can go out of control. ...to these allegations because currently anybody can make this Reddit post, anybody can make these claims, kind of and anybody can say absolutely anything. But I do have to say, my friends, that it's does not true. mean that I don't think that there is any validity to this uh, allegation or situation. In fact, at the end of my 40-minute deep dive into the situation, I pretty much came out saying that whilst I think that there is pretty much not any evidence for 80% of the things in this situation, I do actually think that Boy in a Band is a very immoral and bad person. Why? Because despite there are some things in this Reddit post that really don't line up with everything because you know there there aren't any things attached to them there is some evidence out there to prove that this guy has done some very shady and immoral things in what? my personal opinion so and i think it's important for us to outline those three major like what? Okay, he's gonna get things here. Number one being the most important and vital fact in this situation that Dave Boyna Band was confirmed to have dated a 16 year old girl whilst he was the age of 23 and it progressed towards did they how did they confirm that she was 17 years old and he may have went up to 24 version from their relationship later when she was 17 that's oh, just shitty. how age works my friend and numbers and all that good stuff but alas yes it was proven that dave definitely had an inappropriate relationship okay. numbers and all that i just want to like what, what's the okay good stuff that's not but good. alas yes it was proven that dave definitely had an i'm just curious like how did they prove it 
I'm going to mess up the thing for a second because my keys are falling out. How did they prove it? What's the proof exactly? I guess it's this, but I'm just here where the proof is. David's got a girlfriend. Uh, I had a sampler back then. I'm trying to see. I called Rachel the time we met. That's just same years ago. I just the age of twenty three and it progressed towards she was seventeen yeah, years old really and the gross. Went up to twenty four. Okay. That's just how age works, my friend, and numbers and all that good stuff. Uh, not according to Matthew McConaughey. That's why he likes to hang out outside of high schools because he stay he, the girls stay the same age. But alas, yes, it was proven that Dave definitely had an inappropriate relationship with a sixteen year old girl who okay. he met when he was in her twenties and she was around the ages of fourteen to fifteen Gross, when they yeah. met at Dave's own concert. Okay. She seemingly came to the concert as somewhat of a yeah, fan. I'm not really sure to the extent of that. She came, they met, and alas, they got into an inappropriate relationship. Now, I do have to clarify, in the UK, this isn't technically a crime. Oh, no. oh God. Fucking the UK, dude. Dude, this is the problem, man. I always say this. This is, like, the biggest problem. Is that, like, this stuff is inappropriate. But, like, unfortunately, if you, if you're, like, the laws protect the behavior, like, it's, like, it's so stupid. Like, what? there really needs to be advocacy against this type of behavior. Like, there needs to be, like, a change in age of consent laws. I truly think that's where we need to, like, start and, like, with the whole thing. Because this is insane to me, dude. It's crazy. Now, that is more of an issue with the justice system because, my friends, the For law sure. doesn't necessarily dictate what is moral and what is immoral. In certain places in this world, you can marry your cousin. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. True. Please do not do that, my friends. That is very weird. What, if, what if she's hot, dude? You don't know my cousin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just fucking kidding. <laughs> my cousin is not hot at all. Yes, in this country when you're 16, you are still a child, and Dave was a 23-year-old adult male. One being a male doesn't really do, mean anything here. A 23-year-old man dating a child yeah, it's true. disgusting and it's a vital fact here and then we move on to fact number two which true. does involve yet again another ex-partner of dave where they made a diss track in the past on Ooh, dave a and this track. does actually correlate with some unproven th maybe instead of doing a diss track you should go do the dishes am i right <laughs> Ah, happy men men's aware happy male awareness month <laughs> hopefully he didn't do a horrible thing to her so i don't look like a fucking asshole yay things in the original reddit document of where it says that dave uses his depression to get away with inappropriate behavior i see why you're avoiding me and blaming it on depression and it also included things hey, such hey, as hey, typical tiktok behavior am i right guys typical tiktok behavior dude blaming everything on depression oh that's not good hold on i gotta upgrade this oh i'm oh, oh, good I'm Gucci. Not going to the hospital and using weird excuses such as their career and just other weird things to not visit your partner. And it does give a little bit of Gus Johnson vibes, you know, not visiting your partner when they're in hospital. It's not necessarily a crime, but that's well, not necessarily true. <laughs> the Gus Johnson thing, like there was a series of her having like a bit of like going to the hospital in and out, and like there's a time where he became shitty and wasn't focusing on it as much as he should. But it's not, he did not go to the hospital with her. Not to run too much defense for the guy, but like. But it does just highlight the fact that yeah this guy is a bit of a dick and also it does lead up to things mentioned in the original letter which didn't have any evidence to back it that dave uses his depression as a way to get away with doing nasty horrible immoral things so yeah okay. we've got that backed up and then we move on to number three of well, i guess so listen uh, listen here's the thing Here, here's my thing when it comes to like the 16 year old shit's like a red flag to me even if it's legal for sure the thing, though, is that when it comes to somebody's, like, relationship, I don't really care how good or bad of a partner somebody is necessarily. You know, like, if he's, like, being an asshole, be like, oh, using his mental illness, like, yeah, that's bad, but I'm not going to, like, that's up to him and whoever's with them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that interested in it. Um, You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like, like I would never stop to consume, like, I would never consume his content anyway because he's a fucking weird-looking emo dude, but uh, I wouldn't stop consuming someone's content because they were a bad person relationship partner unless they like beat somebody right but if they were just shitty like uh what's his name fred Ar armchair fred arm armison <clears throat> um yeah so he was married to the girl from um from um i want to say orange is the new black but with abortion uh handmade sale handmade sale and uh, he's admitted, like, he's just not a good relationship partner. And it's like, yeah, that's shitty, but I'm not dating him. I don't care. You know what I mean? Now, if he beat her, that's different. But he just seemed to be, like, a shitty partner. Right? Like, I'm not... That's something that I don't necessarily care about. Um... So, sorry. Dave definitely does have an inappropriate relationship with his fans, given his last public YouTube post was a community post where he asked for advice from his... Did he? What? ...his fan base on whether he should overdose on medication or not. It's a... <laughs> what? <laughs> What a loser. Hold on a second.
I mentioned on Twitter, I'm trying new meds. They were initially good. Then things got really rough. A lot of confusing and varied thoughts. This is a year ago. Okay. Uh, and varied thoughts and emotions. My psych suggested I increase the dose. So I've done that today. 15 uh, from 10. I'm trying to let myself... Well, I'm trying to let myself get my hopes up. Maybe part of my depression has been denying myself anticipation of happiness. I used to stop myself if I noticed I was getting excited and something prematurely. I do that too. Uh, it's not a big deal. But the hope came effortlessly in the first month of the 10 milligrams. Now that's faded. It takes energy I don't have much of. I slept through two therapy women's sleep pattern. Has been fucked this last month this week. I didn't sleep enough. I click my therapist, which apparently is one of the best scientific identifiers of a therapist being effective according to her. Oh, I click with my therapist. It's hard to know whether it's helping or not since I assume everyone is feeling brutally alone right now. Maybe there's just uh, no way for most people to be mentally healthy in a pandemic. Okay, so this is COVID shit. I'm really going against my instincts to post this. You, sh you should have posted it. You're a grown man. You can complain to people in your life instead of people on the internet in this parasocial way, but okay. Right now, I'm really closed off, not talking to almost anyone for a while. I don't feel like I've had the energy for it. It feels weird talking about this, hopefully and publicly without being fixed. I just know reading things like this on Reddit, etc., that are so blunt about mental health experiences encourage me to actually try therapy and meds from the first place to help me. Okay, so what I'm really saying is, should I take the meds all in one day to speed up the effect? You know what? Do it. Just do it. You're going to ask such a dumb fuck question. Uh, guys, should I take all my meds to speed up the effect? Yes, do it. Don't do that. I'm joking. But like, what you know what you're asking? You're asking. You're. You're. This is a. This is a. This is an emotional bait post. What a loser. That's the big red flag to me. This is an emotional bait post. Should I take all the meds in one day to speed up the effect? Yes. Yes, David. Yes, Chef Boy RD in a band. Go do that, idiot. You're so stupid. It's childish. Asked for advice from his fan base on whether he should overdose on medication or not. It's Here's the response he wants. No, don't do it. You're too hot. Don't do it, David. You don't do that. You're too fucking hot. Don't do it. Do I sound like um, every character on Big Mouth? Oh, I'm going to fucking shove something on my ass. Do I sound like uh, Morty from Big Mouth? Is that a character? Let's move on. Appropriate, and yes, it does indicate a strange relationship between Dave and his fans. A relationship which isn't the usual relationship that I have with my subscribers. What do you do this with your subscribers? Is very, very close and intimate. It's different, and it's honestly wrong. But my friends, now we. Well, think listen, listen. I think I never is focusing on the wrong thing here because he's saying like, "Hey, I think it's 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 not good to be that close to your fans." And I think that you, I, I can we can have a conversation about that. <clears throat> and he's probably like I see he's mostly correct, but what I'm focusing more on is uh, not that not more on like more on what i'm more focused on is the fact that this motherfucker was like should i kill myself or not so his fans it just sounds like a bait post it's an emotional bait post dude it's crazy I, I, that's the biggest red flag for me what a loser not i never i like i never but oh my god you do have all the context you can't see the video anymore okay guys pretend like that never happened you now understand that yes, there are some rights in this situation and there are definitely some wrongs in this situation. Yep. And that leads us into the main reason you're here that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Flashback. The allegations no longer exist. They have been removed Ooh. from the internet. I remember. They are no longer here. Yes, this is a very, very real thing going on right now. The allegations on Reddit have been outright removed from the original user. Every single post that the user made does not exist anymore. You can Why? Because I imagine that they didn't get any public... Like, how could you get public backlash if you're a rando on, on Twitter or, excuse me, Reddit? So did they just move it down because they felt stupid? Like Go through their Reddit account, which does still actually publicly exist, and you can see that there is nothing to do with Boy in a Band. Oh. There is no trace of reason for this. There was no uh. note. There was no response or actual, uh, I guess, reasoning in general to why this has all been taken down. It was just deleted. And my friends, my first instantaneous thought when I heard about this situation was, okay, uh, damage control has begun. This situation happened in August, at, right at the ending or the midway part of August. This started to come out. Things started to leak. People started talking. It blew up in September, and the damage control process has now begun. Gun. They haven't said anything, and the moderators of the Boy in the Band Reddit are starting to take things down. Okay, no, sense. that's actually not the case. How do you know? I never. Weirder. Sorry. Are you are you the mod of the of the of the what is it? Boy RD, Boy in the Band? Huh? Just kidding. 
Okay. Post was deleted by the person who originally okay. posted it. So ladies right. and gentlemen, this is getting weird. This is getting a little bit confusing and honestly a little bit worrying. A for little sussy. Reasons, because a lot of people will see this and definitely start changing their minds on things. Has the internet mean? made a mistake? And is Boy in a Band actually innocent? Honestly, I don't believe that innocence is something Dave Boy in a Band can actually achieve in this situation. I think he's just a loser, to be honest with you. That's pretty much what I think at this point and that's exactly why i went through the things which are undeniable in the situation dave when he was in his 20s dated somebody at the age of 16 raging towards 17 and got to a point of 17 whilst meeting that girl when she was 15 14 whilst he was still in his 20s that was a thing they dated and in my opinion that's extremely immoral mainly because uh, at the age of uh, 16 years old my friends a newsflash newsflash you're a child. So, okay, if Dave isn't innocent in this situation, then what is actually going on here? And why has this post been removed? People may think that it's not a, a big thing that the post is gone, but I actually think it very, very much is. This post is the only real valid allegation that we currently have to date. And with that no longer existing, people will immediately start to think, well, what if it was inauthentic? What if the person felt bad and removed it? What if this, yeah, what well, if it's that? Possible. And they, as I said, will start to believe Dave's innocence. Because you cannot Maybe. deny that the original poster of this allegation was no doubt very, very suspicious. For one, over the last... Well, just, month so we, just to be aware, right? So when we do like an allegation, he, they, he's... Just because he's innocent of some allegations doesn't mean he's innocent of all of them, right? Um, that's something to understand. Like, he still seems to be weird with, with the youngins. Seems like that character from Family Guy. Um, but war. I mean, dude, if he, anybody looks like the way Boy in a Band looks, red flag, okay? If my daughter ever brought home somebody like that, That'd be crazy, you know? If my son did, though, that's just goth mommy, you know what I mean? people have been replying to the original letter before it was deleted simply asking for evidence in fact i went over in my previous video when somebody asked for evidence the original poster did actually respond so they fully acknowledge that people want some form of evidence or at least attachment to the fact that this person actually does know dave and they just said something completely out of the blue to do with doxing and they didn't even attach any what? evidence to that there was just a fabricated oh. scenario and i have to say it was fabricated because i tried to do a deep dive into this allegation and i could not find anything so yeah there is some weird stuff are going on here that people for months have been demanding some form of proof or evidence or screenshots other than a group chat and after all of that they outright delete every single post that they've made and as i just said previously they did reply to comments to do with updates in this situation regarding people requesting evidence so it's not like they just posted this reddit post and they just ran away from the internet forever they have been active so it's weird that they would just outright take all of these posts down and say absolutely nothing which of course does bring in the question of <clears throat> legalities is dave boy in a band currently in a legal battle with this reddit post user is he now suing everybody Maybe, well know. we will go into that later in this video because what is there is that actually <laughs> that actually a thing is he actually like suing them that's interesting okay uh cool this is a bit of a timeline, it's going to be a bit all over the place, but I do just want to go into some other things first. I said at the beginning of this video, I believe that this whole situation has gotten worse, and I do honestly believe that. I think it's gotten <clears throat> worse in two separate contexts. It's gotten worse in the case of, we don't know what's going on. Like seriously, what is actually going on here? Both parties in this situation are being outright silent. Boy and a band has had the opportunity to say something for four months, and I understand, silence doesn't necessarily always represent guilt. <laughs> But at least give us something, man. At least say, hey, guys, I know there are things being said. I will address it eventually. Well, he doesn't have to do that. That's the thing, especially if they're fake. Like sometimes um, you just like you just can't win. So sometimes you're just better off just not saying anything. It's the kind of the reality of the fucking Internet. <clears throat> because then we can say, all right, it's still a little bit weird, but at least we got something. But now we've just got absolutely nothing. I remember when Cryotic got accused of a load of stuff. The blog said nothing and then randomly came back with the worst response of all time and then just outright dipped and never said that again. We're not even getting a bad response. The blog's just dipped from social media. I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, uh, he's not been posting for years. I, I don't I don't care. Well, this that's... guy has the responsibility to respond to these allegations. I said in my previous video to do with Destry Smith that if you don't respond to allegations eventually and defend yourself your Destry silence Smith. will oh, eventually yeah. become guilt because i think at Could the be. beginning the first few months yes you can be dealing with legalities and you can be dealing with building a big defense for yourself it's happened in previous youtuber situations but it's getting to a point of it has been four months now how long can we really make that defense i mean but if he's not on social media anymore like you know what is the what's the benefit for him to even respond i'm not saying what he did was right i'm just saying like why would he respond you know what i mean i uh, just it's, it seems like he's done with the fucking internet
But also, it gets worse in terms of the context of some of the things in the letter since my last video have actually been proven. One specific Ooh, thing, which was like one the of the biggest a? parts of this whole thing that really blew up. It was to do with this lyric. Okay, now the context of this was basically in the original letter, they alleged that this was Rachel, the 16 year old we have spoken about previously. This was alleged that when this was sung, they were 16 to 17 years old. That sounds like a weird rape fantasy kind of a thing. Okay. Golden Boy, the band was 23, slash 24 years old. And either way, making that joke to a lot of people is very uncomfortable. Uh, sure. We do have to acknowledge 2011 was a very edgier time to the modern True. 2022 era. But ultimately, it's very creepy and even more creepy when you take into the context of the weird age gap relationship. But I said in my previous video, Ooh. as much as this is a an allegation, there is, again, nothing to really suggest here that this is actually Rachel singing this in this song. But actually, that's not true, because there was a Reddit post made on the Boyner Band subreddit, a separate one, saying how the more they look into this case, the weirder and more confusing it gets. And recently, they did an update to that post stating that actually, it's now been pretty much proven that that was actually Rachel singing that in that lyric. Does that matter? Was she like underage? What does it matter if it was? Like, what does that prove? You know what I mean? Which not only confirms that yes this is very weird but it also outright does confirm their relationship and it outright does confirm this uh this thing of they okay. were definitely dating at a very weird age gap sort of range and it does confirm pretty much everything in this situation in my part so i might miss it what age was she at the time was she like 17 is that who they're talking about personal opinion that makes this whole thing no matter how many false allegations there are outright terrible you can say this was 10 years ago but nevertheless it still happened and it really only does just create more smoke in this situation because if he was willing to have an inappropriate relationship in the past what's really stopping him from having one in the future you know he's already done it he's Maybe. already put himself into that he's already guilty of that so in my mind he would then be thinking well you know i've already done it once uh, twice isn't really going to change much and to be it's possible it depends on the motivation right so like if he's an actual like attracted to children like it's like oh i'm keeping getting away with it so i can keep doing it if he just happened to be attracted to them and their age didn't matter at the time then it was 10 years ago how old was he 10 years ago he's 20 was it was he in oh, how old what's the age gap of these people that we're even talking about though like if this was 10 years ago isn't he 31 so he'd be 21 and if he's if she's like 17 then i don't care um, are we specifically talking about the girl from before that was like 15 and 23? Because, yeah, that's definitely sussy. Or no, it was 15. Yeah, maybe it was. Get what I'm saying. I'm just because he's 10 years ago. 2011 isn't even 10 years ago, is it? It's 11 years ago. So this person, he would be 20. Fuck, he would be. Oh, he's 35. Holy fuck, he'd be 24. Okay, so if they're talking about the 15 year old, yeah, that's creepy. Okay. I just don't know explicitly if we're talking about that person. I just, I'm not good with names, but okay. To be honest, yeah, yeah that, that, that's right. If you, if you do it once, it's horrific. And I'm not saying that's a justification to do it twice, but I, I think that's how a lot of these people think. Now, I know that's not necessarily proof of anything, but given the amount of smoke in this situation at this point, given the amount of inappropriate things we've gone over, I really, really wouldn't be surprised if there was a, a case of a lot of the things in this post actually being true. But yeah, uh, let's actually get into the proof of this being Rachel. So first, I guess you need to find a vocalist. For my vocalist, I woke up next to her and figured, yeah, she'll do, which as I understand, and it is the usual method a record label executive will use to pick a pop star. But yeah, thanks to Rachie for helping out with the vocals and lyrics on this one. Check out her website, revisewithrachie.com, if you happen to be interested in learning psychology, since that's what she teaches on her site. Link for that below. She's terrible. How old is she? Yeah, since she helps with the words, lyrically, it's a cross between a sexy dad's pop chick being overly confident and a schizophrenic person coming to terms with a debilitating mental illness. This is what happens when you get a psychology student to help write a pop song. Incidentally, I think it's pretty cool I've managed to fit two separate debilitating mental illness references into this seven day song so far. Yeah, I know this was a long time ago, but you can't deny this is just, it's, it's just weird. Like, they hear this boyfriend, I'm sorry, it's just a bit odd. And I know Dave never really claimed to be a normal bloke. I mean, you don't have to really go past the haircut. No offense. I'm, I'm not saying that means anyone with a haircut is, is you know, Allegedly, and I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm just saying Dave. Listen, really I never. I know what you're saying. Okay, people with that fucking haircut are creeps. All right, every 100 percent of the time. Okay, maybe 95 percent of the time, but they're they're creeps. Okay, you claim to be Got a creep, creep, non audible, and I think this is very much evidence of that. But you're probably thinking, well, where's the evidence that this means it was all actually Rachel? Well, my friends, uh, the weird lyric video was only uploaded a day after the video that I just played you, and given he says in this video that he uses her as a vocalist, I mean, you can really only put two and two together. The vocalist does sound like Rachel, where he gets to have to sing in the video saying it's her, and then a day later he uploads the song. It's obviously Rachel, and this I don't have money. so lose. much. But I even found a comment 
friend, which is just really weird, saying, oh yeah, thanks for Rachie for dealing with my inappropriate jokes. And I know some people will say, well, this is just a normal thing in a relationship. Well, my friends, it's not normal for an adult to be in a relationship with a child. And there was even comments that I've mentioned before about when he's speaking about the consent lyric, he says that he just wanted to be lyrically authentic. What do you mean by that, Dave? I'd love to know what you mean by lyrically authentic in the context of saying, take me without your consent. What does that mean, Sunshine? So yeah, not only do we now have an outright confirmation of this relationship, which pretty much just disregards everything in this situation and only confirms this person is terrible, but you also have to look into the things that people will say again, well, this isn't technically illegal. He's dating a child, but also the fact he's dating a child. Oh, so this is, we're referring to the 16-year-old girl. Okay. That he was dating at like 23 or 24, right? It's a little, a little suspicious. Or I guess she's 17 at the time, technically. I don't know. I mean that, yes, there is a power dynamic here. And I understand sure. the phrase power dynamic is very, very overused nowadays on social media. And it's almost a shame that a lot of these terms, such as grooming and power dynamics, have been outright pretty much just used in situations where they absolutely should not be. Yeah, for sure. Like, especially when it comes to like a power dynamic, a lot of people will just say power dynamic, not understanding what that means. So the existence of a power dynamic doesn't mean that it's being abused, right? Uh, we talk about this all the time. It's annoying when people will be like, well, you're a big creator. Like, uh, uh, It's so funny. Like Back in the day, there was groupies that would like, follow around uh, band members and want to fuck them. But now, if you do fuck them and you're on the internet, it's some kind of abuse. Whereas if you're just a groupie, that's just par for the course. The reality is, like, unless you weaponize that power, it doesn't matter. right? So like, if I'm a creator and I'm talking to somebody... Um, <clears throat> this no, this is fine. If they're more attracted to me, or you're a creator, and they're more attracted to you, um, because you're fucking famous, that's good for you. That's just makes you better in that sense. Uh, if you say like I'll platform you if you fuck me, or I'll deplatform if you don't fuck me, now we're talking about an abusive situation. You can talk. There's power dynamics everywhere. Uh, if somebody's rich, and you know, if you're if you're advocating to get rid of power dynamics in relationships, you're advocating for uh, classism. Rich people can't date poor people, and the reverse. Uh, as well as a bunch of other things. We can go into conversation about power dynamics between like sexes and races and blah, blah, blah. We don't need to because we don't need to be that fucking woke because it's not that deep. I think in this situation, the idea of a power dynamic can definitely be spoken about. And people will say, oh, well, you know, uh, he wasn't famous at that point in time, so how could he have a power dynamic? I think people on the internet really misinterpret what the definition of power dynamic means. You have power dynamics in every single relationship. Sure. In particular, a relationship when you are 20... I think it's wrong that he's fucking around a kid. I don't think it has to go... Like, what? at what point, like, where, where does the abuse of power dynamic come in is my question free and somebody is 16. You can be in a regular relationship and have a financial, uh, I guess, power dynamic over somebody. Sure. That's completely normal as long as you don't abuse that dynamic. But in yeah. this situation, it's pretty much completely unavoidable, given the fact that a 23-year-old um... should not be dating a 16-year-old in any context. But you've got to think, at 23, yeah, you have access to things such as uh, driving, alcohol, cigarettes. You can get into certain events. and Like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Again, unless he act okay, so it's wrong that he's even dating this person at the at that age. That's like explicitly clear. I don't know if I would run the power dynamic argument only because like that already is why we have age of consent to not have power dynamics. But then again, uh, you know it's legal unfortunately for some fucking reason. You guys are crazy over there. Although we have we have states that make sixteen legal too. Um, yeah, I mean like that can happen between like a twenty and a twenty one year old as well, you know, if they're being able to drink. Or I don't know when you can drink over in that backwards fucking country, but uh I don't know if I would explicitly bring up the power dynamics necessarily unless he weaponized it, but that means you hold so much power over a 16 year old because obviously that is attractive to a 16 year old when i was that age i would try and make friends with older people than me because i knew that that could get me into things that could get yeah me into I, when i was 16 i was uh, dropping out of school playing world of warcraft don't uh you know and it worked out for me guys so you know what don't stay in school kids because it does you don't need it you dingus i'm just kidding stay in school i regret it that I couldn't get at 16, and that is a natural power dynamic that obviously any 23 year old should know they should not go anywhere near. But Dave himself obviously has done that. But David sadly, with band. this post being deleted, a lot of people will now most definitely say, oh, he's now exonerated of everything that he's been accused of. And I just think that's outright wrong. And that is why I have given you the context <laughs> of all of these things in the situation. And we have built up to this point because I think it's vital to know oh, the things that are actually true here and show that that does not mean everything here is now illegitimate because the post does not exist. Dave's posts still exist where he admits these things. And that is vital. Vital. And it brings us back to. Well, I didn't drop out for World of Warcraft. All right. I happened to. I stopped taking my Ritalin. I was a really good student, too. I was like double honors. And I just kind of, you know, got off her. Because <laughs> I came off the medication and then I got a burst of energy and I was happy. You know? 
That's why I don't believe in uh, really, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty apprehensive about giving kids medication in the first place. Uh, some states even have Romeo and Juliet laws. California allows a 10 year difference. I don't think that that's true at all. What? Um, I'm pretty sure California doesn't allow a 10 year difference. I'm pretty sure they're the, they're like the most aggressive state where like a 17 and 18 year old can't date or have sex. They don't have a Romeo and Juliet law. Where did you get, where did you get that from? Some states even have Romeo and Juliet laws. California allows a 10 year difference. Where did you get that information? 10 year rule. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're talking about in California specifically. What I mentioned earlier, when you have a bunch of fake allegations, it really does weaken, I guess, the case. And that True. may sound wrong, but it is just uh, a thing that happens. I'm going to give you a, a bit of a weird, uh, a bit, a bit of a weird scenario, but I think it's kind of applicable. Imagine you have a full bottle of water. Ooh. Just, you know, add a little bit of Coca-Cola to it. You know, you know, I never. It would have helped if you didn't have a half-empty bottle of water. All right, in your demonstration here, brother. All right, I'm just saying. Color starts to go <laughs> weird. It tastes a little bit different. And then you have a little bit of a, a Fanta Zero in there. The color Bro, let me tell you, I once bought one of those really big jugs of water, Poland Spring, left it in my car over the entire summer, about a year. Went to drink it again. Drink it. Mm, tasted really good. Very sweet. It was purple. Bacteria. It's kind of gross starts going even more weird and the taste is getting a little bit funny now and then you have more and more random juices and liquids and everything you can think of that can go into a bottle of water okay. the water bottle starts to overflow the taste isn't the same the color's not the same but ultimately there is still water in that bottle but it's now kind of become diluted it's now no it sounds like it's become diarrhea <laughs> are you telling me that that sodi pop from from mcdonald's is not actually water i never you liar but not just a bottle of clear water it's a mix of random things that you can send me a bit on instagram if you and want now to watch imagine something. that bottle of water is a real serious proven form of thing in this situation i know it's not the best english but that is the proven age gap in this relationship between rachel and dave and then imagine you've you know poured in a load of unproven things which have really nothing to back them and even the allegation of this whole thing goes into a double digit amount of victims without any necessary proof of anybody you know attaching <clears> their <throat> names or images to those uh victims it, it starts to get a little bit funny it starts to become diluted it starts to allow a lot of people to say there are false allegations in this situation meaning people can start to just deflect and push things aside and sweep them under the rug under the pretense of false allegations it actually happened with james charles yeah it was Ritalin. there were a lot of false allegations towards him and a lot of people start to look past james charles's <clears throat> real actions because of the false ones it's just something that happens and i think it is a problem if we focus necessarily just on the false things i think we need to focus on the real scenarios which we've gone through in this situation <clears throat> and that is only further proven by this video but yeah thanks to rachie for helping out with the vocals and okay. lyrics on this one so i guess this does just now move us into the real talking point of this conversation of well if it wasn't any of the things we've spoken about previously why was this post actually deleted and of course that rounds us back to the legalities aspect of this is Dave Boyne a band actually suing the people in this situation? Well, let's go back to that Reddit post speaking about how weird this situation is. Basically, they did another edit updating it saying that apparently Dave knows who wrote the original letter. And oh. they said, well, I wouldn't assume that um, there's like a suing angle then. I would maybe assume more than anything else that he might uh, like he might have potential access to them and be like, yo, stop it. Don't do that anymore. You know, I don't know if that's true, but I'm just saying. Why are they trying so hard to stay anonymous to the point of not actually giving evidence? Yeah. And then weirdly enough, this then links to another Reddit post of where somebody is actually agreeing to a now deleted comment. And then in that comment, they are pretty much just speaking about slander and libel. And then when you go above these comments, they are then referencing to another Reddit post of where there is a mysterious link to two messages. Now, this message pretty much just alleges that Dave, I guess, is trying to sue people 
in this situation, or is at least investigating people in this situation. It's a very, very strange screenshot, okay. and in fact, the person does respond to this screenshot pretty confidently. And honestly, I don't know if this is just like a, a, a personal thing, but I've received lawsuits in my past. I've made videos on my podcast joking about it, but when you first do get those lawsuits, I personally shit myself, even though every single time they're usually outright fucking bullshit, uh, especially in more, I guess, uh, countries like America and Britain. It's, it's kind of hard to prove slander. It really is, especially on the it's internet, true. and especially when it's by anonymous Reddit accounts. So looking at this post, it, it is a little bit strange, and there is no real evidence to suggest that this is actually real. And in fact, if I wanted to get a few upvotes on Boy in a Band's Reddit, I could probably make and forge a message. I'm going to do it right now. Oh. Here is a message of me saying I'm being sued by, I don't know, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast didn't like the oh, fact shit. that uh, I uh, chronically shat my pants when I consumed Carl's Grieve cheese. Now, that's actually not a job. I didn't shit my pants. I do need to confirm. But Mr. Beast Burger, it, it gave me the poos. Fair play after I made some criticism, Mr. Beast actually did follow me. Yeah, I can understand that. Is it, is it, does he actually, oh, he does have a Beast Burger. I remember him like uh, looking at something where uh, he works with small, basically what he does, and it's a good idea. I, I think you, I think you might, in most instances at least, only be able to get a Beast Burger um, um, through like DoorDash or something. And so what he would do is like he gives them, he gives, he has somebody come in, I think, and train a smaller business that makes burgers with how to make a specific beast burger. And then like he'll sell them out of like a smaller businesses, like, uh, you know, whatever area or whatever the fuck it's called. You know what I mean? Which is, it's a smart idea. Um, it's not, it's not bad. It makes sense. Uh, what else would be cool if I could actually get my fucking tower down here? It'd be awesome as fuck. Use penis pickle. Okay. I don't know why I'm speaking about this. This is probably the rambling people can, can get complaining about. But alas, oh, I can make them. these messages up. I, you know, I can. And I'm not denying that it's real. People but again, like it comes under the thing of how do we know it's real? You need some, I guess, backing here. Because in a situation like that, there are always going to be clout-hungry vultures. But a lawsuit would definitely explain a lot, my friends. It would explain Dave's silence because, you know, if he actually said anything on a situation, it could possibly damage his case. And it would also explain the fact that the post was removed because it could be a possible thing here that Dave is suing this person, and this person wanted to pretty much strengthen their case by basically removing everything that they have posted about Dave on the internet to kind of Maybe. get out of things. Now, there is no real evidence to suggest that. I do have to keep saying that, but it would explain a lot here. But even if that was the case, I, I don't think that would be a good idea for Dave. I really don't. And Dave. honestly, I think Dave does actually know that. I don't think Boy in a Band is actually a stupid person. I think when you watch this guy's videos, you get an understanding of who he is. I've watched this guy for a very long time. Not every single video, but I, I well, I mean, if you're going to go with the, specula the speculation route, it's possible that, like, there's a cease and desist letter put out, and, like, that's what it kind of came down to. It's usually the first step when it comes to stuff like this. I, I think I know the guy from his content quite well, and he comes off as an intelligent person for the most part, and I don't think suing a potential victim is a route he would think is necessarily a smart one, given the uh, social economic climate of the world. Suing Well, if they weren't actually a victim in his eyes, then, like, yeah, it would be a good move for him, you know what I mean? That's how he would prove his innocence victims or even alleged victims is never a good route to go down if you're trying to defend yourself because it does just come off like silencing and it can bring into the irrefutable question of if you are innocent why can't you just prove yourself to be innocent rather than forcing somebody to be silent in a mean of you know uh, financial uh, resources because i imagine boy in a band does have a lot of money in fact no uh, no i don't even know why i'm uh, kind of hypothesizing on this no he definitely outright is very very wealthy his merch well yeah i mean that would be why he would sue though right so like it would get them i I, his motivation to sue in this instance would be to protect his himself and his like brand i guess i mean it makes sense that he would sue even if you call them a potential victim if they're not actually a victim i don't know if that would be like the defense to go with um i and again if we we're doing speculation he i would imagine he would like send a cease and desist first but sales, his views, his song sales, everything this man has done over the last 10 years, he has definitely accumulated a lot of wealth, and he could outright obviously go and sue anybody he most possibly wants with really, really good and expensive lawyers, because he has obviously got a lot of money, and that's obviously a power dynamic, in the sense of, yes. oh, look at this big wealthy man with a big social status, going to use his power and wealth to silence an accuser. How many 9 billion times have we heard that before in Hollywood and social media? It I guess, but if... Um, uh, maybe. I mean, if he's suing, I don't think that, I mean, he could be guilty and just suing for the social aspect, but, like, if he's actually innocent and suing, then, like, it's, I mean, I guess it's using your power a dynamic of having money to get a good lawyer, but, um, I wouldn't really consider that like an abuse of a power dynamic, 
I don't think I don't think I would. It's legal. You could have a conversation about um, the legal system in the United States. Maybe the lawyers are kind of scummy sometimes. Kanye would say it's because they're Jewish, but not me. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I really wouldn't say that. That was a joke. I'm being very explicitly clear. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It is a very, very bad book. It's a very, very bad thing to do because naturally a lot of people will say, why can you not just prove your innocence without having to silence somebody? And that is a very, very valid and vital. So like the art, so the argument there in the, and I'm just going to say, this is a fundamental thing is that like, um, if he didn't do anything wrong, um, like what, how could he prove his innocence if it's like a complete conspiracy? Like if they're like, oh, look at all these allegations or blah, 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 blah. And it's like, they don't have any proof for any of that, but he, like, how, you can't really prove against that necessarily. You would just have to be like, uh, Hey, it's, you know, so like you would be like, Hey, pull this down. You know, it's not real. You don't have any evidence, blah, 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 blah question again dave hasn't done this in this situation as far as i know but it would be a pretty valid explanation to why this post has just been deleted now you could obviously maybe. say that the post was deleted because possibly there were just you know reasons such as maybe the person was getting stressed of the situation maybe it was more that they could handle and they thought you know what i want out but again it was an anonymous reddit account surely they could have just logged out made a new account based on their own public actual real life uh, profile because this account really had nothing attached to anybody personal so i really don't know why that would mean they need to completely detach themselves from this situation so there are a, a plethora of reasons to why this thing could be gone but i don't think we're ever going to know until somebody in this situation finally speaks up so where does that leave us in this situation how do boy in a band fans go about their days now knowing that they will never see boy in a band in a content cop again thank god because honestly I, as much as you can say you rate the bloke's music he was the worst part of that diss track but alas where do we go because this is very weird it's uh, different to a lot of situations of where usually it's uh somebody will get accused of something they'll be cast out or they will you know pretty instantly in the next few months clear themselves or even just get to a point of where it's like well they come out and respond and you know they do have some fans remaining look at shane dawson for example was accused of a lot of things lost a massive part of his audience but the bloke's still kicking he's still getting a million views a video and when you're accused of some of the things he was accused of such as uh, uh putting things into uh, areas of certain ginger kittens well to get a million views oh that was a joke come on of all the ones you can go after <laughs> like that one's like the worst one peace after that it's pretty impressive so it does happen. So what's going on here? Why is he not responding after four months? In my opinion, it's not looking good for The post being deleted is no doubt definitely- I just think that he doesn't make content anymore and he just doesn't care. That's what it sounds like to me. Plus, Shane Dawson will just give him a job anyway because it doesn't matter what you may have done wrong. <laughs> <laughs> weird and obviously it does put a lot of doubts into my mind which i already had in my previous video but given the fact that we have reevaluated a lot of things in this situation and given the fact that things have actually gone worse since i really can't change my stance that i do think this bloke is pretty much indefensible and i don't think he can really rat his way out of this situation i think it's actually quite shameful that he's not even come out and said hey man i'm i'm just like trying to work on a response right now please give me time if he did that i genuinely believe that the public would say okay we will wait and we will see what you have to say but he hasn't even done that and and given the fact that so many people are saying this whole thing has no validity to it, it's such a, a basic, you know, easy thing to dismantle, well, why would Dave not come out and dismantle it? It's not like these allegations haven't blown up. It seems that loads of people on social media now think this guy is very much a predator, so why would he not come out and clear his name if it was so easy? It's a very confusing thing, and I think it may be down to the fact that there are some indefensible things in this situation. Sure, it's suspicious, and sure, there are definitely some inaccuracies here, but ultimately, I don't think the inaccuracies necessarily exonerates Dave of the extremely creepy things that we have gone through today i'm gonna end this video by saying i don't really know where the situation has gone and i would only give the advice to dave to hey man please just come out and speak about this because honestly it's getting to a point of where i'm starting to think how long can we really wait for a defense but yeah who knows maybe he will i hope we get an explanation to things and i'll be sure to cover it if he does who knows maybe there will be an ideal world where he actually somehow proves his innocence in absolutely everything not really sure how but you know i would be open to it of course okay. that's why i'm not outright saying all of these things are true because maybe just maybe there will be this massive flip I, I don't know but i can't really see it right now that is the ending of this video please give me your opinions down below i would genuinely love to hear from you all because this is a very very big situation and i think it's important to you know have a discussion get our opinions out there so comment down below and also please like this video and please just subscribe thank you so much everybody please follow my social medias i number 69 right. i number on instagram 69 base sex number okay all right yeah interesting video seemed like it was a lot of speculative i don't know if, i don't know <laughs> Uh, okay, but yeah, decent video nonetheless. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend.
There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face 